Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the third annual Des Moines Parks and Recreation Youth Basketball Selection Show. We're glad you've joined us and hope you enjoy the show. We'd like to start off by thanking our partners, the Des Moines Public Schools, for all they've done for us for the last six years and helping us continue to grow our league year after year. This year alone, we were able to service over 1,000 total kids, and we look forward to serving even more next season with our new joint scholarship program that's now in place. We'd also like to thank Drake University for allowing us to use the NAP Center for the last five years. This is a tremendous experience for the players, coaches, and parents. On to the tournament itself. Before we get to the brackets, we'd like to remind everyone that the tournament will run from February 8th through March 1st. The semifinals and finals will be held at the NAP Center on February 23rd and March 1st, respectively. We will be e emailing out the brackets for everyone to have a closer look after the show. Please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions you may have. Now, without further ado, here are the brackets. We will start things off with the first grade boys bracket. Coming in as the top seed are the Eagles. This team has an 8-0 record and has a margin of victory of 16 points per game. They are scoring 25 points per game while holding opponents to 11 points. Coming in as the number two seed, we have the Yellow Jackets, who are 6-2 on the year. A key game in this division will be the ABC Maroon versus Jaguars. These two teams never saw each other in the regular season, so this first time matchup should be exciting to watch. Here are the rest of the first grade boys teams. Now on to our first and second grade girls bracket. Our number one seed in a four-way tie for first place are the Southeast Polk Rams. Coach Justin Thomas has led these girls to a six and two record in the regular season. The Rams have averaged 31 and a half points per game. Coming in at the number two seed, also with a six and two record, are this Ankeny Centennial Basketball Club. These hardworking ladies have only allowed an average of 15 points per game while putting up almost 25 points on offense. Our third seed are the Mighty Hurricanes, coached by Michael Birch. Our third team to finish six and two in the regular season. These ladies have scored 24 points per game. At the number four seed, we have the Hot Shots, the final team to finish the regular season at six and two. They are scoring almost 28 points per game. Here are the other first and second grade girls teams. Next up is our second grade boys gold bracket. Coming in at the number one seed, we have the Rampage out of the national division. They were eight no this season and have scored a very impressive 44 points per game while allowing only 12 points per game. That's an average margin of victory of 32 points. Our number two seed, also out of the National Division, are the Running Runnels, with a record of seven and one. The third seed, out of the American Division, are the Bearcats, with a record of seven and one. Here are the rest of the teams. A key game to look out for in this 4-5 matchup between ABC Maroon and the Wolfpack, both teams have the same record during the regular seasons. Now let's move on to the Silver Bracket. The top seed in this bracket are the Blue Jays. These boys have worked hard and have been a contender in every game they've played. Coming in at the number two seed are the ABC Gold out of the National Division. They have averaged 16 points per game this season. Here are the other teams in the silver bracket. Now we move on to the third grade boys gold bracket. The number one seed are the Bears coached by Bethany Ortiz. These boys are averaging 20 points per game and only allowing 11 points per game. That is some great defense. Coming in at the number two seed are the Pirates. They are scoring a very impressive 30 points per game and have an average margin of victory of 19 points. The third seed in this bracket are the Altoona Swishers, coming in off of a hot four game winning streak. This team should be exciting to watch in the tournament. Here are all the teams in the third grade boys gold bracket. A good game to look out for is the matchup between the Timberwolves and the Huskies. These two teams played a great game earlier in the regular season. 
That's it for the gold bracket. Now on to the silver. The silver bracket starts with Holy Trinity as our number one seed. They have scored 17 points per game. Our number two seed in the silver bracket are the Wolverines. They have averaged over 12 points per game this season. Here are the rest of the silver bracket. Up next is our third grade girls bracket. The number one seed is the West Des Moines Tigers. These ladies are locked in on defense, only allowing six points per game this season. This tough defense has allowed them to be have a perfect 8-0 record. The number two seed are the Rams from Southeast Polk School District, averaging over 30 points per game. This team looks to use their potent offense to go far in this tournament. Here are the rest of the third grade girls bracket. Keep your eye on the matchup between ABC Gold and the Tar Heels. These two teams split their regular season games. We move on to the fourth grade boys bracket. Coming in at the number one seed are the undefeated Altoona Rams. The Rams came into the tournament averaging 25 points per game while only giving up 12. That's an average victory, margin of victory of 13 points. The team will look to continue their success from the regular season and play their way into the NAP Center. Our number two seed in this bracket are the Spartans, coming in with a 7-1 record. The Spartans look to bring their powerhouse offense into the tournament. They are averaging 26 points per game. The number three seed are the Kings out of the National Division, coached by Ron Mills. They had a 6-2 record this year. Here are the rest of the teams in the fourth grade boys bracket. Look out for the matchup between the defenders and the ABC White. These two teams played once during the regular season and the game was decided only by four points. Let's move on to the ladies. The number one seed in the fourth grade girls division are the Ankeny Storm. At eight known, the Storm are winning by an average of 17 points per game allowing just five points per game while putting up 22 points themselves. These ladies look to continue their winning ways all the way to the Knapp Center at Drake. Coming in at the number two seed are the West Des Moines Tigers with a record of six and two. The Tigers are also averaging 22 points per game this season. The number third, third, third seed is the Sparkle Glitter Ponies out of the National Division with a five and three record. The fourth seed are the Bruins of the American Division. They are averaging over 11 points per game. Here are the rest of the fourth grade girls teams. Now let's move on to the fifth grade boys gold bracket. First, the gold bracket where the one seed Pacers and the two seed Timberwolves both enter the tourney at seven and one. Both teams have tough defenses allowing less than 15 points per game. The game between the Nets and the Rams gold is the one to watch. The Nets have won their last three games and the Rams almost upset the top seeded Pacers last week. Here are the rest of the gold bracket teams. Now for the fifth boys silver bracket. The top seed in the silver bracket belongs to the Slaughters who will be playing the Clippers while the Kings and Spurs face off in the other semifinal game. And now on to the fifth grade girls bracket. The Mercury received the top seed and average and average an impressive 31 points uh, scored per game this season. You can see by the girls' reaction, they're excited to be the top seed. The Des Moines Clippers received the second seed, but must face the Des Moines Jazz, a team that played them evenly all year. And now on to the sixth grade boys. The number one seed are the Capital City Classic Champion Warriors, undefeated on the season and scoring 35 points per game. Coach Gaffney has this traditional powerhouse ready to play. And as you can see, the boys are excited about their top seed. The number two seed are, is another team with history of success, the Kings led by longtime coach Ron Mells. Here are the rest of your teams. Folks, watch out for that 4-5 matchup between the Raptors and the Ballhogs, who played a two-point game earlier in the season. 
And now on to the sixth and seventh grade girls. The top seed goes to ABC Platinum at 8 0, who have only given up an average of five points per game. Girls, how do you feel about your top seed? Looks like a team that's focused and ready to play. The number two seed goes to one of the Des Moines Public School teams, the Pelicans, winners of six games during the regular season. Here are the rest of your matchups. The Monarchs and the Spurs should be a fun one to watch as the teams played a one point game in December. And now for the final bracket, the seventh grade boys. At the number one seed, we have 8-0 Hoover Gold. Hoover's a perennial power and this year's team looks tough to beat. They average a scoring league record 71 points per game. Coming in as the number two seed are the defenders. The defenders are a grizzled bunch with many of the players having multiple years of postseason experience, making them a tough matchup for any team. Here are the rest of your teams. The game between the Wildcats and the Rams is the one to watch. Both teams' records are deceiving as they played several close games this season. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for this year's selection show. We hope everyone enjoyed this and is as excited about the tournament as we are. Thank you again to our partners, Des Moines P Public Schools and Drake University. And a special thanks to all the volunteer coaches, scorekeepers, and officials who help make our league successful. Have a great day, everyone, and good luck.